How's everybody doing today? Okay, we're going to go over um, Aaron's theory. And congratulations, Aaron. You are finally into the 45-522 theory, which is put forth by uh, Zena Halperin's uh, La Formula. Uh, using La Formula, along with the map that is uh, showing Oak Island and all the places, on Oak Island that are clues to the mystery of Oak Island and where the vault is. I think there's a lot more to it that's being said on the show and that's one of the reasons why I do these videos is because uh, I want to show uh, on a public record uh, the complexity and the ingenious plan of this mystery on Oak Island. It really is fascinating. I've been studying it for a while. And to give you a little history is, you know, I first started this about a little over a year ago, and I thought that La Formula was a geometric progression. Um, I disregarded the interpretation of the cipher. And at that time, I had emailed Doug Kroll on the show, telling him that there was definitely a link between La Formula and the map that Zena Halperin and I showed him an overlay of the uh, of Zena Halperin's map on Oak Island and how the geometric progression would show to where the trap door would be and then uh, this past summer I got into looking into the cipher and was very much convinced that the cipher was real and I still didn't disregard my geometric progression uh, theory because I think it is also involved but uh, the uh, the translation was unrefutable uh, it was too much of a, a coincidence that it was the 90-foot stone and the La Formula from the same cipher gave a message in English and French, which by the way, I think is another clue that one is in English and one is in French. And that will point, and I'll show you later in my later videos, it will point that this, this treasure is from a Norman origin, both English and French, people that were in the time period of Louis the First uh, were trying to uh, get out of France and to start probably a new culture within the Americas. But that's, you know, that's, uh, that's for another time. And right now we want to get into Aaron's theory. And I have Aaron's theory here in um, green. And of course she starts off with her horizontal lines and she found the, the south anchor. Now she hasn't explained yet how she came across the North Anchor, but I'm just assuming that she used Nolan's Cross to go out here to find it, plus her 30 degree angle. And then she came down with a North Line and using the drilled stones and the stone, uh, stone triangle down here, she comes to this point right here. Here's Aaron's money pit. <clears throat> now, with the, the five, uh, 45 522 theory, she would come out to right here. Now, I've drawn a circle that is starting. The center is at the end of Nolan's cross, just like in my theory. And you come out. 1,065 uh, feet and you draw a circle. So this is where she would be. Now on Oak Island last night they were probably drilling down in this area. Why? I don't know. Because if you read the formula, La Formula, it tells you that there's a shaft here. Because you start from the money pit, which is where you are, because it says do not, di do not dig at all, according to my interpretation. Well, let's bring that up. 
Here's what I think it says. Extreme, okay? Extreme, not to dig at all embankment at a distance of 40 feet. So you are at the money pit and it's the money pit stone is telling you uh, to dig more 40, to dig 40 feet more to find 2 million pounds, but that is a trap. And I find it interesting that it's in English because I think the people that deposited it here were French. <laughs> but uh, that's, that's another story, of course. And then my interpretation is, or my translation, I should say, my translation says, by means of a 45 degree, the shaft, okay, at a distance of 522 feet, Okay, that's all you really need to know. From you, from you, so you're at the money pit. So from you, this shaft is at 45 degrees, 522 feet to you. And then between, the shaft is between, and my, my translation again, because I can't find anything else, a corridor does not work. It's not in Old French or Middle French. But I think it's the Syrian gold at a distance of 1,065 feet to reach the treasury. Now, some people say the chamber or the vault. Uh, it could be either way. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter because that's where the treasure is. It's at 1,065 feet from the shaft, which the shaft is... 522 feet at a 45 degree angle from the money pit and the money pit is just a start place it's not a place that you want to dig and I think 200 years of searching there has proven that so anyway this is the um, this is my proposed path, and this is uh, Aaron's proposed path. Uh, if they drill here and they find nothing, it's because uh, there isn't anything there. Um, even if it is the tunnel, I think it's filled in. And even with mine, they may not find something. They need to find the shaft that's up in this area. Um, let me see, let me put something up here. Let me view the sidebar here and go to Fred Nolan's map. Where is it? Here it is. All right, and here is Fred Nolan's map and here's his hidden shaft. Now it's closer to Aaron's prediction. And here's my prediction. So in between me and Aaron was Fred's. So somewhere in there, this is where you're gonna find the entrance to the vault or the treasury or the chamber. Okay, another thing I wanna show you, let me turn this off is, and I haven't mentioned this before in my other videos, is the eye of the swamp. I believe this was an excavation entrance. In other words, this whole swamp area, all these stones and everything that they're finding in here is all excavation dump. It's all, it's where they dumped all the material, all the rocks and everything. And they probably made it all smoothed out so that they could easily bring the carts across. All the they probably use those ox carts. Maybe uh, I think those are. Who knows? I don't know what time period it is, but this is where they put all the material from digging these tunnels in this swamp. They most likely had a ship to park here. The reason is, is because it's hidden from the Atlantic Ocean. You wouldn't be able to see it. So if they're going to find a dock here, that might be possible. Um, 
I think it is probably more than, you know, very probable. So here's where the vault is. I find it interesting, and I don't know why. I don't know if this is um, uh, spoils, a spoils area or whatever, but somebody had mentioned that, you know, that they've already found it, <laughs> that the people on Oak Island have already found the vault. They're digging right here, and they've already gone in and found the vault. And uh, people like you and me that are watching the television show probably will never find out what is in the vault. Um, we'll see, huh? But anyway, they're on the track of the 45-522 theory. Um, just a little note I want to also add, and I'll show you. Uh, I want to bring up my theory here. And this, is, this has to do with the translation. And one of the reasons why I think uh, errands may not work I don't know what data she's using, so I don't know. Uh, my data was from La Formula and also Fred Nolan's formula, uh, Fred Nolan's data. And the thing is, is that the angle, this right here, it says vent la valeur which says 20, and then we don't know what this is, the value. I believe this is the angle value that you need to know in order to find where the money pit is. And in, uh, if you take all the missing pieces out of La Formula and put them together, you get this right here. And if you do these in order, it gives you a geometric progression, which is like a shortcut. And that's why I still think this is a shortcut and that the La Formula translation are clues, but also it's a mnemonic device to remember. So anyway, the angle is this one right here from the south anchor to the north corner. Because what you do is you take, you extend Nolan's triangle out, extend it out, or Nolan's cross to a triangle to a point, and that's what this first part is, and then you take from the point of the triangle, a line downward to the south anchor. When you get to the south anchor, you do a cross. You're going to cross it. Now, the cross, you only can do the cross if you know the angle, which I believe is 26 degrees. When you know the angle, you can do a accurate cross section and then you will get a top portion that has parallel intersections. Then you triangulate. Now I have it triangulated like this just because these are in that position. But you don't have to do it that way. You can go from here to the center point, from here to the center point, and then from the center point you go down and down and then you reach this point. Okay, now this is uh, a translation. Uh, it can either be this one or this one. I think it's this one. So it's basically saying that these are equal. And then these lines right here, this line and this line create a rectangle. And, uh, sorry about that guys. Let me get this smaller. And from the top point here, which is where this line goes up, this is the anchor line, you drop down and that is the money pit. That's where you start for, you go 45 degrees 
522 feet to the hidden shaft. Another thing that I came up with was that this is also a anagram. And when you put these words together, or these letters together from these missing letters, you come up with this phrase in French, French, who has that good judgment? And it's old French, it's middle French. Um, so that was my idea. It's a little far-fetched and a lot of people probably would be hard pressed to swallow it. But it seems to me that if she finds, uh, which I don't know if she's going to, because uh, this distance between these two lines is about 70 feet. And uh, it's going to be, they're going to, they, even if they drill in here, they're not going to, it's probably filled in. Or it might even be part of the flood system. It might be water. So the only way that they're going to find it is if, they do exactly what the instructions say. Go 522 feet at a 45 degree angle and find the shaft. Once they find the shaft, then maybe they'll be able to enter this tunnel that goes to the vault. So that's my uh, assessment of what's going on today. I'm happy that they're I'm happy that they're on the 45522 theory. Um, it was something that I realized this summer, maybe at the same time that Aaron was realizing it. I don't know. I like to think that my letters to Doug Kroll uh, inspired him to uh, get a hold of somebody that was probably more credible in map making and everything like that uh, to... Uh, spearhead this project but nevertheless it doesn't matter to me as uh, as long as uh, I think they're on the right track and who knows guys they may find out what is in the vault but I hope we're having good judgment to open it because it may be something earth-shattering truly um, I'll be continuing my videos on uh, the tracing back of uh, Louis the first and possibly find out who who what and when and where uh, about uh, the treasure of what's in Oak Island but maybe they'll they've already found it and uh, and <laughs> that will we don't really even have to speculate anymore we pr pretty much will know Anyway, I'll, I'll give you more interesting information uh, in later videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.